I'm Sarah, and this is my dad. <laughs> and today we cook hot cross buns, vegan, vegan style. style. <laughs> <laughs> you like hot cross buns, Dad? Yes, I do like hot cross buns. Uh, I've had a few of my time. Mm -hmm. They're very nice, but I'm not a favour of the chocolate ones. That's but, okay. Um, These yeah. ones don't have chocolate in them. They're wholemeal. You like uh, the wholemeal ones, don't you? Very good. That's and nice. they're also oil free and they're super tasty. Three cups of whole grain plain flour. Half a cup of raw brown sugar. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of mixed spice. And one pinch of salt. One sachet of dry yeast. Half a cup each of sultanas, currants and raisins. Half a cup of applesauce. One cup of almond milk. For the cross, you will need a quarter of a cup of plain white flour and two to three tablespoons of water. For the glaze, you will need two tablespoons of raw brown sugar and a third of a cup of water. We're going to combine all our dry ingredients into a bowl. Add the flour. Stick that through. Okay, eventually you'll get to uh, the end and you've just got all the husks, so you're just going to add those in. Adding the yeast. The cinnamon. A bit of sugar. Mix of salt. Yep. Mix of spice. And the fruit. Do you want to mix that up, Dad? Yep, no worries. Okay. Yeah. With the almond milk and the apple sauce, you want it to be warm so it activates the yeast. We've heated up the almond milk and apple sauce in a blender for a minute and a half. And now we're going to add that liquid to the dry ingredients and stir to combine using a knife. Go to sprinkle some flour on a board or if you've got one, a pastry sheet like this. Add the mixture on. I'm just going to suggest getting a little bit of flour on your hands and just bring it together. Now you might find that it's a bit dry or a bit sticky and you might just need to adjust. You're going to need this for five minutes. So you're going to push it down and turn it and push it down and turn it and push it down and just keep on working like that and you're going to do that for five minutes. Wanna go, Dad? I'll take it for a while, Sarah. Yep. <laughs> I've put some flour on the bottom of this bowl, the dough's on top, and then we've put some cling wrap over the top of that. I'm going to find a warm place for that to sit for an hour to an hour and a half, or until the mixture doubles in size. Now, the first thing we're going to do is punch the air out of it. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to flour our board, knead it for 60 seconds and then divide it into smaller portions. We've placed some baking paper in a tray and now we're just going to move these buns, sit them in a warm place, but this time we're going to let them rise for half an hour. For the cross, add flour and water to a small bowl and stir until combined. Pour mixture into a piping bag with a small round tip. For the glaze, put sugar and water into a saucepan. You're going to take that mixture over to your stove and you're going to bring it to the boil and boil for three to four minutes. Pipe the cross mixture horizontally, then vertically across all the buns. These are going to go in the oven for 20 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius. It is 430 degrees Fahrenheit. Now's the time to put the glaze onto the hot cross buns and you want to do that while they're warm. And Dad, would you like to do that? Good. And Dad, what did you used to do before you were retired? I was a painter. Still am. I look like it. <laughs> so I Dad's paint. doing the painting Who's style paint? of glazing. We paint the ship. <laughs> oh, he paint the ship. That's good. <laughs> while well, he was a pirate. He was a pirate painter. Pirate Peter and hot cross bun glazer. How's that? Lovely Dad, good job. These can be eaten warm or cold. Today we're eating them hot because we really want to give them a taste test. Aye right, aye Captain, we'll do that. Nice mate. Mm. Mm. Really good. 
Thanks for joining us today. I hope that you like this recipe and that you give it a go. It is super healthy. It has no dairy or eggs, and it's made with whole grain flour and no oil. I mean, how good is that? Happy, Happy Easter. Easter, and see you again ah. next week. <laughs> Bye.